The live version of our gallery sample is somewhere you can experiment uploading and translating and viewing your own files without having to implement the server-side infrastructure to manage the REST calls needed to perform a translation yourself. You can, you can upload a file here using the upload button or you can just play around with the files that other people have uploaded. This is also where we showcase many of our client-side JavaScript samples because the View and Data API viewer has a concept of extensions which means that you can load and unload individual JavaScript files which customize the behavior of the default viewer. So this allows you to add new functionality to the viewer without having to significantly modify the, uh, the rest of the behavior. So you start with a default viewer and modify the behavior you need rather than having to implement all the behavior from scratch. So I'm just going to demonstrate a few of the customizations that you can um, you can do here. Um, just for me just a couple of basic ones to give you the idea how to use the sample and I'll also be recording videos uh, for all of the extensions in due course as well so you'll have uh, information on how to use all of the extensions. So first of all I'm going to just load a model and here's one I prepared earlier. As you can see, this is a simple extension, uh, simple suspension assembly for a, um, a car. And first thing I'm going to do here is just play around with some very simple animations. And these are very basic animations. They're just using a timer loop to, in this case, rotate the camera around the view. So here we have a nice rotation of the camera. Um, also, if, if a model has structure to it, you can also explode the model to take a, a better look at its, its structure and how it's assembled together. So we've just got an animation here as well to demonstrate how to, if you like, animate the explode of the, uh, of the model. So I'll just stop that. And then we have these extensions, which I, I mentioned earlier. Uh, we have quite a few extensions pre supplied and you can also upload your own extensions you can build your JavaScript extension and you can upload it and test it on this website uh, we, we can show you the source code so if I click the source code it lists all the extensions available and if I click one it actually opens a new window so you can actually see the JavaScript source code uh, but now I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of extensions just to show you how to use these so now we go to manage and the first one I'm going to show you is our basic extension. So I'll just click on it to enable it and click OK. And you see all this does, it displays a dialog when the extension is loaded like that. And then I'll just get rid of it. Click on it again to disable. The next extension I want to show you is, is this material extension. The Viewer API gives you access to the underlying 3.js objects that we use to, to build our model. So you can actually access those from the API. So now I'm going to enable this material extension. It's given me these little boxes here and these allow me to modify actually the color of objects or actually add new textures to the meshes. So here I want a pink tire. Uh, maybe I should set the other one as, as being uh, yellow, like so. Maybe I want to add a, a different texture onto some of the components, like this. So it's just a simple example showing how you can actually, once your model is loaded, you can actually modify the look of the model. So perhaps, for example, someone wants to see different color options for a particular a model. You don't have to save it for different color options through the translator. You can modify them on the client side. I'll just turn this one off. I also want to quickly show you the search functionality. So I'm just going to refresh this page to get rid of those, those colors. And the translated model includes lots of metadata and we can see metadata if, if I actually click on an object here we, we have this, this little property panel appears with, with lots of information which was extracted from the original model. Uh, but I can search that so for example if I search for tire and click find this, ISA, this functionality I, uses the search API from a JavaScript API and uses other APIs for the viewer to isolate anything which has some metadata with the word tire in it and as you can see in this case this tire we've actually highlighted those search hits in the property panel. Just 
to go back to the main view. And then just as a final example, show you another one of these extensions. So in this case, I'm going to demonstrate the annotation example. And this is another example that uses the 3JS API in order to query the locations of various meshes. And all this does is when I click on an object, it allows me to create a marker for that object, if you like, to add a note to it. I'll just click on there. Uh, and that, of course, becomes more exciting when we actually start to move the model around because what we have then is as the model appears, of course, those annotations are, are rubber banded to the objects in the model, which as the camera move, of course, we, we keep in the text static, um, but the linkage to the, the model is, is moving as it rotates. So that's the gallery example. There are many, many more extensions already loaded, which you can play around with. Look out for the videos for, for those as well. And also try uploading some of your own extensions into this sample uh, to see how it works.